Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about delves real quick and how to raise the depths for your private portal. And before I go into why you might need this or how to actually do it, back in the day when you used to put down these portals, so we'll just put this one for example, it used to be based off of like your power rank or your light value. Pretty sure it was just based off of your power rank or something like that. And then eventually it got changed. So at the moment, my Fate Trickster opens at depth 80. And then if I were to swap to another class, so if we went like Boomeranger for example, Put that down, I get 76. And then if I go to like my Ice Age, for example, I can open up a 133. So the reason why I have such a huge jump right there is because I raised my portal so I can farm a specific thing. Now, the main reason why you might need this is like I showed over here, I have a Delve Gateway for the Understax biome. So as you can see, the uh, biome is going to be understacked and it's just going to repeat that over and over. And it's pretty good for farming. I'm going to go over that in my flux video. But if there's something in particular you want to farm at a specific depth, then that's going to be your main reason of why you want to either increase or decrease your delve. Because it is possible to decrease it as well. So the whole system is kind of weird because it's basically just based off of like some kind of point system. Or I don't know if it's points exactly, but I'm just going to use points in this example. I don't really know the exact science behind all of this. But in a hypothetical situation, let's just take our fate trick for example and if we wanted to raise our portal from 80 to 90 for example what you would have to do is go back to the hub and if we go over to this direction you have to do public delves and it's going to be a little bit annoying because you most likely will have to solo this unless you can get your alt accounts in there if you're strong enough or if you can get like some friends or something queue at the same time same region all of that stuff but it'll take you a while to queue in and if you don't find anyone in like a minute or something i think it just puts you in by yourself and the main thing that you want to do is i'll just give a quick little example so at the moment, I can only open up depth 80. So if I wanted to go up from here, I'd go to the public delve and I would try to beat this depth right here. I would try to go above 80. Now, the lower you are, the easier it is to raise. But when you get higher up, you want to go at least 10 above this step. So for example, we have 80 over here. I'm going to try to go to 90. And based off of that alone, I'll be able to raise my depth by one, sometimes two, sometimes a little more. But the higher up you go, the more difficult it is to actually raise it. And remember how I said that this is like a point based system? You can also decrease your depth. So as you're doing the delves in the public portals, you want to make sure that you're actually going above 80 because I'm pretty sure if it puts you in, it's not going to put you at 80. It's going to put you a little bit below that. So if you complete one depth, for example, like let's just say you make it to depth 79 and you just stop there, you're going to have a chance of decreasing your delve. And based off of the point system, once once you reach that certain value, then this is going to drop from 80 to 79. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it puts you four depths below your private portal so if you do want to increase it you want to make sure that you're going above 80 and you want to go at least above 10 and there are other variables that play a part in this so if you complete your delves fast enough that'll get you more points and then obviously doing at least 10 will get you some points as well and like i mentioned before the higher up you are the more difficult it is so you will have to do this over and over and eventually you will get to the depth that you want but you're most likely just going to go up one depth and it might seem like a slow process, but that's basically what you do. I don't think there's another way of doing that. That's just how I know how to do it. So if you do want to get to a higher depth, you're going to have to do a lot of delves in public. And that's going to be the main thing. So going back to this uh, sample book farming thing, I was just using this uh, delve gateway, for example. So we have the undersex biome. So the main reason why you'd want to raise this one in particular is because if you're below 99, you get 16 sample books. And then from 100 to 139, you get 32 sample books. And then if you're farming 140 and above, you get 64 sample books. And those are the amounts you get per depth. And if you are strong enough, then you'd probably want to go higher up in your depth so you can actually farm those things a little bit better. And if you don't know what the sample books are, basically it's just going to be these boxes down over here. You're going to get these from the delve. So once you complete the boss, open the chest, you're going to get those. And if you have alt accounts, it's going to help out even more because you'll get more of those boxes. And when you open them, you're going to get the uh, carpet stuff. So that's just going to be these things over here. And then you can also just loot collect them for the cave kelp. And don't get this confused with the uh, geode resource because there is one in there for the geode. But basically you take that cave kelp and the method that I talked about in my free range electrolytic crystals video and how to get those is you go to this guy and then you convert 999 of those kelps into 99 free range electrolytic crystals. So that's just an example of why you would want to increase your depth. And I also talked about how to decrease it, so you just want to watch out for that if you're not trying to decrease it. And just a quick note, these are a little bit different than these private portals. So these depth steppers, pretty sure it's always going to start you at 158 right there, but if you press E on it or whatever that is on console, you can actually adjust the value. So this is how I usually farm for 115 and higher delves. That's usually what I end up doing, and then I just press ready up, and that'll take me there. And it seems like it opens up 158 on basically every single class. So if I go to Boomeranger, for example, It'll also put you at 158, so it might do that for you too, but don't get these portals confused with the pr other private ones. So these are depth steppers, 
it's gonna be a little bit different. The ones over here are gonna be the actual private portals. And then the other one that I have is the challenge portal. They're always gonna start you at 110. And if you do challenge delves, whatever depth you end up going to, it'll increase it to that amount as long as you complete the boss, the objective within the time limit it gives. And then the next time you do challenge portals, it'll start you at that depth. Then on Monday, whenever the weekly reset happens, you'll go back to 110. And then if you have challenge easy portals, that's always going to put you at 110 no matter what, even if you increase your depth. So hopefully that makes sense. Just like a little rundown on that. And I haven't really seen anyone that made a video about this, so I wanted to bring that to you guys. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments down below. And on that note, thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I will talk to you all later.